Hi, I'm Jared Dillingham at a place called The Confluence. The Confluence is where the brown waters of the Colorado River, winding through the Grand Canyon, meet with this beautiful blue aquamarine clear water coming up from Havasu Creek. There are two ways to get here. You can raft in as part of a rafting adventure down the Colorado, or you could do what we did today. We hiked in from the Havasupai campgrounds, and I want to show you what that hike is like. And the hike is a full day trip from the Havasupai campground. It's almost 18 miles round trip. To get to the confluence, you first have to scale the 200 foot rock wall down the side of Mooney Falls. This challenge is why many people never even think about trying to make the hike to the confluence. You'll rely on a series of tunnels blasted through the rocks and then chains anchored into the rocks to scale the rock wall. Wooden ladders will help you in the final part of the descent down to the base of Mooney Falls, which is the biggest waterfall along Havasu Creek. You'll have to cross the creek seven times on the hike to the confluence. Some people wear water shoes and change at each crossing. Others hike the whole way in sandals. About three miles in, you'll come across Beaver Falls, which is a great place to spend a whole day. But if you're going on to the confluence, it'll have to be another day. The advice is to leave Beaver Falls for the confluence no later than 1030 in the morning. You still have around six miles of hiking to go. All right, halfway through our trek here, I want to mention three things about directions. Just think of it as you're really just following the creek all the way from the campground down to the Colorado River. Second, I would definitely get All Trails Pro here because that will allow you to download a map. There's no cell service out here, but you could still access that map the entire time and follow your route and your progress on the trail down to the confluence. Third, if you do get lost, look for these things. You'll see these all along the way. These are kind of like directional map markers or trail markers that different hikers have set up along the way. If you see one of these, you're heading in the right direction. If you see one across the creek, that means it's time for another creek crossing. Head toward the piled rocks. Now, you don't have to bring any water with you at all. As long as you have a bottle with a filter on it, you can drink right from the creek the whole time. You'll see the canyon walls grow steeper, and you'll cross from the Havasupai Reservation into the Grand Canyon National Park. Once you reach a natural tunnel you'll have to climb through, you're in your final mile. Havasu Creek grows narrower and the current picks up. One final climb up some rocks reveals the Colorado River. Looking down, it is almost mesmerizing to watch the watercolors swirl together. The rafters tied up here are eight days into their trip down the Colorado River from Page, Arizona. You'll also see people swimming near the confluence. Now the water levels change here and if it's high, I would avoid the water because you definitely do not want to be swept out. If you look closely, you'll see big fish there in the water. Those are flannel mouth suckers which swim upstream to spawn each spring. A team from the National Park Service was studying them. Now you can't spend too much time at the confluence because you still have a long hike back to the campground ahead of you. Along the way, you're likely to see desert bighorn sheep, which come down in the evening from the cliffs to dine right alongside the trail. So if a hike to the confluence looks like something you want to do, remember you do need a permit to get to Havasupai Falls to begin with. And that can be really difficult to get because it took me 10 years of trying to finally get here today. The other thing you need to keep in mind is if you hike into the campground, that's a 10 mile day hike. And then the hike here is another eight miles. It's not up and down a lot, but it is pretty strenuous. So if you do this while you're camping there, make sure to leave early in the morning because this is a full day event. I'll see you next time.